Happy Friday. I got something religiously philosophical for you today. I'm going to start a series of videos on Saint Aquinas. Uh, Saint Aquinas. Saint Aquinas was a philosopher of religion uh, because you know, it, between Anselm and Augustine and Ans and Aquinas, they have these theodicies. I'm not going to talk about specific theodicies here, but these are proofs. Aquinas has proofs for the existence of God. He has five ways, five ways, which he has. In each way, there's a proof for the existence of God. He has, you know, specific reasons. But I'm going to talk about the first way today. The first way. And it involves movement and motion. Here, we have... Everything is moved by another. Here's one thing that needs to be taken into. That needs to be thought about. And... Basically... Everything is moved by another, and something can't, you know, so, and when something is not in movement, they have the potentiality to move, and when they're in movement, they're in the actuality of movement. Just like Aquinas' example here is that wood is potentially hot. It has the potentiality to be hot, and it's, it's in actuality of hot, of hotness and warmth when it's on fire. So, what Aquinas is getting at is that one thing, if one thing is moved, every, everything is moved by another. This doesn't move by itself. And there, has, there is a efficient cause that will move it. So this is a, a problem here because here we have a infinite regress here because if something is moved, then something has to be moving it. And then that which moves the first item has to be has to be, have something moving it too. And that thing also has to have something moving it, otherwise otherwise it wouldn't move neither with the second or the first item. And then that thing also has to be moved also. Otherwise it wouldn't move. And then that thing also has to be moved by something else. So, you know, you're gonna have the first moved the first moved thing is moved by the second moved thing. The second moved thing is moved by the third moved thing. The third moved thing is moved by the fourth thing, fourth moved thing. The fourth moved thing is moved, moved, moved by the fifth moved thing. This is a infinite group regress and this would go on to infinity, Aquinas says, unless we have a unmoved mover. This is a a term that is a huge in philosophy and first philosophy and modern philosophy. This is an unmoved mover because we have to have a first mover, a first unmoved mover that that is not moved by anything else. It, it, it does move around, it does move, but it's not moved by anything else. There's nothing else that causes it to move. It moves other things, but it doesn't move it. It's, it, it, moves, it, it, it moves other things and it moves itself, but it, it, nothing, nothing else causes it to move. It causes other things to move. Now, Aquinas calls this thing God. He calls this unmoved mover God. Now this is one, this is the first way. This is one proof for the existence of God. Now, this has a lot of opponents to it because there's a lot of theories of what that unmoved mover could be. So this is a highly contested way of proof for the existence of God. So. Anyway, I gotta go, so I'll see you guys later.